Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. Today what I want to show you how to make are cookie truffles. Now cookie truffles are so fantastic. They're so easy to make. You can make them using store-bought cookies if you want a shortcut, which is fantastic around this time of year because let's face it we try to cram too much into the holiday season this is such a great edible gift idea or really just a fantastic nibble or like a sweet treat at the end of a party whatever you want to do now i'm going to show you quite a few different varieties of flavors but by all means take these as ideas and you can use them exactly as is or you can just experiment with your own flavor combinations but you're gonna need um i'll show you the basis for everything so you'll need three different bases because i'm doing the chocolate which are just some chocolate cookies that i bought at our, our local bakery and i just pulsed them in my food processor and i did the same thing with some ginger snap cookies and some vanilla sugar cookies so these are the bases and then to go along with that you need cream cheese and powdered sugar for all three and a little bit of vanilla extract. Now I'll show you, like I said, different variations of flavors I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a chocolate orange, I'm going to do a chocolate coconut, a lemon vanilla cheesecake, and then we're going to do a gingerbread. Oh, and also I'm gonna do a funfetti, like a, a cake mix. So really yummy. But let's get started. I'm gonna use my food my standing mixer here because my food processor would pulverize this too much. And because of my, my cream cheese, I want it to be softened a bit, but not too room temperature, otherwise it won't hold together right away. I find that this is just the best way to do it. So let's start with the sugar cookie. So in my big mixer with my paddle attachment, I'm going to add my cream cheese and my paddle sugar. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm going to just cream these together for a minute. I want the cream cheese to get a head start and then we'll add in the cookie, the uh, sugar cookie crumbles. So I'm gonna just lift this up and let it go. That is fantastic. You can see all the vanilla beans from the vanilla extract. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add my sugar cookie that I've crumbled in my food processor and I'm just going to mix them until incorporated and then I'll put them back into the same bowl and just to spare you repetitive activity here I'm going to do the same thing with my chocolate and I'm going to do the same thing with my gingerbread so I also have a small pinch of cinnamon in the gingerbread just to enhance that warmth beautiful flavor of gingerbread cookies or ginger snaps so I'm going to do the same thing so chocolate spring chocolate mix and cream cheese and powdered sugar gingerbread cream cheese and powdered sugar so I'll meet you back here in just a second. All right, all of my cookie dough is ready. And I just wanna walk you through what I did right here is I just took my chocolate cookie dough and I split it in half and I placed half of it in this bowl with some sweetened shredded coconut and the other half is here. And I took my vanilla sugar cookie and I just took half of it and placed it into this bowl with some confetti, much like a birthday cake would, would be. And now to my cookie dough that's remaining here, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest and that lemon zest with the vanilla, with the cream cheese makes this taste like a cheesecake. It is fabulous and it may be my favorite flavor of all of them. But you know, there is something here for everybody. So if you want to make a bunch of different kinds, just to, a little bit by the way goes a long way, so don't overdo it. If you want to make a, you know, a bunch of different varieties, that's great. But if you want to only make one, then you can do that. Now to my remaining chocolate, I'm going to add a little bit of orange zest or like a clementine, which is just so wonderful this time of year. And if you've never had the combination of chocolate and orange before, you are missing out because it, it is heaven on earth in your mouth. I guarantee it. So a little bit here as well. And what happens is when you break the zest, all of the essential oils are in the zest. So you get all of that flavor, all of that flavor, but without any like of the juice. And it's just so wonderful. And it comes through so well, but it's not overpowering. It's just great. So this will do, because I think a clementine obviously is much smaller than an orange and the skin is much thinner as well. So I would say the zest of about a whole clementine will do. Now, what I'm gonna do now just to speed things along a little tiny bit, is I'm just gonna mix this together. I just wanna make sure that the lemon is mixed throughout my vanilla sugar cookie, and then I'm gonna mix the orange with the chocolate, and then the coconut, and then this one as well. So once everything is ready, we'll be ready to rock and roll and make our truffles, and it's that easy. Now you can start rocking and rolling. I use a small ice cream scoop, which is the equivalent to about one tablespoon. And then I take my baking sheet, line it with some parchment paper so that nothing sticks and you're ready to go. And another good tip as well, because you're gonna roll these in your hands and your hands are gonna get quite sticky. Have a little powder sugar ready because that helps you kind of mold them without them sticking to your hands really badly. So I just do it like that, right? 
and it takes no, t no, no time at all, like that. And then just place them on there like so. And if you just need to, you know, flour your hands, you want to do it with some powdered sugar, which I'll show you why. Look, because look, then nothing sticks, see? And I'm just going to continue to do these. And you can make them smaller if you want to, but I think a tablespoon is perfect because you don't want them too small, otherwise they're not two biters. I like two biters, which I think is perfect for a sweet treat, whether a gift or at the end of a meal or a party or whatever. So I'm going to keep rolling all of them and then I'm going to melt some chocolate. I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. I've got some bittersweet chocolate. I've got some white chocolate. These are the candy melts because I feel like they just coat this a lot better, but you can use anything that your heart desires. And I'll show you how I like to do it, just to make life a little bit easier. You want to have all of your toppings ready. So whether they be sprinkles or whatnot, you want to have them all ready. So I take a really small ice cream scoop, right? Really small. And then look, I just kind of like drape it on top and it works perfectly every time because I don't want to dunk them in to my melted chocolate, although you can. I just like the way this looks. It looks like snow cap. It looks like they've been just drenched by beautiful, delicious, shiny chocolate, and it is fabulous. So this is how I like to do it, but like I said, you can dip them in there if you want to. You can do whatever your heart desires. You can use a spoon. You could use a piping bag. You can use whatever you want. And then I'll show you. So for the first one, which is my lemon cheesecake. Once I add all of my chocolate on top, which, you know, as this hardens, it becomes a beautiful shell. What I like to do is I like to just add a little bit more lemon zest and then some beautiful sprinkles of my choice. I'm gonna show you this because then I'll do the rest of them off camera so I don't just take a ton of your time. So a little bit of the lemon zest, just over the top like so, not much. A little will do. And then I really like these little sprinkles. So I just top them with that. Like this. And then for my birthday cake kind, I'm gonna do white chocolate and then I'm just gonna do more of the you know colorful confetti. And then for the gingerbread, I'm going to do half of them with white chocolate and then these little um confetti sprinkles here and then the other half of them with the dark chocolate with the same confetti and then for the coconut dark chocolate plus toasted shredded coconut and for the orange I'm going to do dark chocolate plus a little more orange zest and some raw sugar so once I'm just going to get I'm going to keep going because it's going to take me a while uh, but once they're all done I'll show you what they look like these were in the fridge for about an hour or so and now like I said I'm giving you the you know, ideas here, and I'm going to give you the basic amounts for the basic recipe. Um, but then, by all means, feel free to do whatever you want. If you want to do sugar cookie and a little bit of Nutella, if you want to do maple cookies and a little maple syrup in there, or some peanut butter, do whatever you want. Just use this as a guideline, use this as inspiration, and have so much fun with it. I'm going to try this one because I personally am, am the biggest fan of the lemon cheesecake flavored one, so that's what I'm going to go for. And it's literally, I can't even tell you how good this is. The cookie, just do it. Just make this. The lemon cheesecake has got to be on the very top of the list. It almost tastes like cookie dough. Divine, easy, simple. Everyone will love it, and you will be the rock star in your group if you give these away for either as goodie bags or as like little gifts here and there. Oh my gosh, you're so good. I gotta go. Go to laurenikitchen.com. They'll be written for you. I gotta go. See you later. Bye.